Uh, next slide, please. All right, to the timeline for response. <clears throat> This is the process in which when we receive a FOIA request, this is what happens in the process. The requester initiates the process via multiple options. They can do a FOIA uh, direct system, an email or phone call. The requester gets routed to the ROA that is appropriate for that department. So each department has their own records access officer. There are 10 business days that you get to produce, uh, deny or respond to a records request. Uh, and the next step in that, it can be extended for an additional 15 business days without permission from, uh -oh, from the, uh, super, uh, the supervisor of public records, but must notify the requester that you are asking for an additional time. And mm, it went away, uh, up to an additional 30 business days to produce with the supervisor of public records extension. So this is the process. Um, and which uh, we, we go through in terms of uh, producing uh, FOIA requests. Next slide. Now, looking at the record according to how many requests have we had over the course of the year, starting from 2017, and the blues are, are the actual number of requests. In 2016, uh, 17, uh, 2,276 requests, 2018, 1965, 2019, 1910, uh, 2020, 1852. And right now with the projected, the way it is moving, we're projected to exceed 2,400, over 2,400 requests for FY21. Next slide. So who's requesting? This is just a brief snapshot of all of the requesters uh, as we counted by year. And if you look from 2017, 2017 to 2018, to 2019, to 2020, to 2021. Now, as you see in the top line, uh, Frank Wood is uh, the frequent flyer uh, uh, in terms of requests. And this is uh, from in 2020, there was a total of 136 requests. Uh, and right now, uh, 118 as of 2021 and just from one requester. Next slide, please. Okay, so let's look at Frank Wood. There are four different email addresses that Frank Wood uses. Uh, Framingham Forward at Gmail, Framingham Forward, and if you can see the difference in the terms of the spelling and uh, uh, capitalization, Framingham uh, Unfiltered, and TK421 at FraminghamForward.com. So these are the multiple uh, email addresses that the FOIA requests are coming through. And certainly with the vast majority of them coming through the Framingham Forward uh, with 271. Uh, next slide, please. Now, uh, when we look at the Frank Wood request in year to date, once again, 2019, 17, 2020, 146, and year to date in 2021, 149 requests so far. Next slide. So in the emails that are sent to us from Frank Woods, and this is just an er excerpt of some of the emails that as they come in, there are about 10 non-Franks who submit off this email account. Some are current leaders and others are former elected leaders, police officers, members of the boards and commissions, well-known names in the public, et cetera. The founder of the site stepped away two days after the November 2019 election and he advises us. I told the others to get their own account and file their own request. I don't have the time or energy to chase down, chase you all down. Next slide. I don't even know why it was requested. You put up with a lot of fishing trips. I recognize how much there is to collect on this. We do not con contest that we keep the city busy. You will waive the fees or I will scrap this one and just ask the same question in a different way. And we will begin this game all over again. Uh, and I think that may be the last one. 